Folks, I cannot tell you how excited I am about this one. You join me today for a two day festival at the fabulous Munkor Fishery. Basically the concept is simple. We have 40 of the UK's best anglers, including Andy Bennett, Jamie Hughes, this year's fish show champion, Christian Jones, and the, the prolific Davidson brothers who have set match records here all, all year round. Basically how it's gonna work is there's four lakes in, 10 anglers on each lake, it's going to go down to section points and if there is a tie on section points then after the two days it goes to weight. I mean for anybody that knows Moncor I cannot wait for this one. It's going to be an absolute blazer of an event. It's the first event that on the Flyer TV have teamed up with Catch More Media. We're going to have a whole lot of live feeds and coverage to bring to you throughout the day and on top of that this great video. So let's get on with it. Right boys, how it's going to work is obviously going to have, a, there's four lakes in, ten on each lake. So if you end up on the Snake Lakes today, which is Swallow and Lark, tomorrow you'll be on the, the, rod, the rod Lakes, which is Buzzard and Orc. So the rotation on the two days, right? Let's get you gone, let's get you in. When you, when you come up, you just have to tell me your name again. Carl Fletcher. Carl Fletcher. Hi, I'm Mitch Davidson. Um, you join us here today on the On The Flyer TV uh, summer festival at the lovely Moncore Fishery over in Bridge North, just outside of Shropshire. Um, what a great event. I mean, for a midweek event to have 40 people, and if you look at the star-studded field, I don't think you can get any better. Prize money's great, fishery's great, and the fishing's gonna be absolutely fantastic. I mean, I think you're gonna see 200 pound win every section today, and what more can you ask for out of a fishery? Hi, I'm Andy Bennett. I'm here today on the Flyer TV two-day festival here at Monk Hall. I've never actually been to this venue, but I've been told to draw on a real good peg for a change. Uh, peg one on Lark, so really looking forward to it. I've got a venue expert, Mark Davidson, next to me, so I could get a bit of a tune in, but I'm looking forward to it. Loads of fish knocking about. Looks really nice, really fishy. Um, I get a chance to go on the Rod Lakes tomorrow. Well, I'll say the Rod Lakes, the bit wider. These are sort of the snake, snaky type ones. So yeah, really looking forward to um, the day ahead. I don't know what I'm going to do tactics wise. I've just been told by a couple of people it's edge fishing, a bit of shallow fishing. So dead simple fishing, micro pellets in the edge, various hook baits, and then a bit of cast of shallow probably. Right, so day number one, and I've drawn a very nice one, standard drawing, and I'm on 12 on Hawk Lake, which I'm quite happy with. This is often the best area of Hawk, but I really wanted a day on Buzzard. So I'm going to miss Buzzard now, so I'm sulking about that a little bit, but still very, very happy to be in this sort of area. Very much suits my style of fishing. Lots of hard pellet fishing for carp. That's going to be the plan. Catch a few big ones down this edge. Uh, maybe some eye shallow, lots of eye to be caught on this lake. So it's going to be a very, very busy day. It's going to be a a phenomenal match where it's a weird one this year almost doesn't matter what peg you're on you've just got to do the right thing so i'm quite keen i've got to set some rigs up and as you can see i'm going to have a very nice simple day just with maggots and pellets that's the plan so hopefully i don't know what's the score guys we've got to win the lake today have we yeah you've got to win the lake mate your lake so fingers crossed i'm on a peg that gives me a chance of winning the lake and that's all we want for day one so hopefully it goes well hi i'm christian jones and we're here today on the two day on the flyer festival at monk hall and I've drew peg 10 on buzzard and I've, this is one of the only lakes I've not fished here a lot at Monk Hall so I'm not 100% confident what I need to be doing but speaking to Ben in the tackle shop today he said to fish method feeder across edges and short or with pellets I think we're fishing for mainly carp sounds like we're going to need a decent weight to win this lake as well they're all saying 300 pounds to win the lake so we're going to have to catch a lot of fish got some good anglers in my section so it's going to be a tough one to win the section but I'll try my best
right up yesterday, I had a ridiculous day. It was probably, well, in fact, it was the biggest weight I have ever, ever caught in my match fishing career. Yesterday, I had a phenomenal day. It, it was dead easy. I've pretty much caught start to finish down my right hand edge. I've, I've fannied about a bit first hour, caught some shallow, but it was ridiculous. And if anything, not good, not good for a fat boy, that sort of peg. Far, far too many fish involved, but it gave me a, a section win, which is all that matters, which is very nice. But then today, a little bit different. I've drawn peg three on Lark, which, bit of a weird one. I'm gonna to have to try a lot harder today. I mean, yesterday a lot of the fish were in this first bowl on peg one of 15 where Ben at one section. So young Chris has drawn that today, so he's gonna be seriously, seriously out to beat. But I do quite fancy it a little bit. So this area one, two and three seems to probably be the best carpy area on the lake. I mean, I spent quite a bit of time here in the winter, which obviously a lot different. It's a lot chillier up here in the winter, but it was, this was the best area for big fish. So I'm hoping it sort of suits my sort of way of fishing. I can not have to rely on shallow fishing too much and I can just catch in the edge and maybe across on pellet. So we'll see how we go. So yesterday I was on peg 10 on buzzard and had a lovely day's fishing. I just caught on a method feeder across and loads of fish shortened down the edge late on. Caught a lot of big carp and had a really good day catching 320 pounds and I won the lake. Today we're on lark pool and I've drew a good peg again, peg one. It's the peg that Andy Bennett won the lake off yesterday, so I do fancy it, but I've got a bit of a tough section. We've got Jamie used to beat on peg three, which is a good peg as well. So he's gonna to be tough to beat, but I'm gonna try my best. Tactics for today, I'm just gonna fish, hopefully try and catch in the edges. I know on this lake, normally edges do score well because there is a few bigger carp as well. And I'm also gonna feed cast the shallow down the middle, but it is quite, cool so i'm not sure whether it'll work but i'll feed it but i think edges are going to be the main tactic today right so yesterday i were on peg 16 on the buzzard lake which is just behind us over there um i had a lovely day to be honest um can't really talk about it too much because i started on a method and finished on a method caught one most casts in uh for 303 pound which was second uh fish show champ christian has just picked me with 320 and um, today i'm on the swallow lake with i'm on peg two so hopefully have another nice day. There's a boatload of fish everywhere, so fingers crossed we get some bites and um, yeah, hopefully we can sneak in the frame. I'm going to probably start short, feed a bit of bait in the edge, see what we do, and if we need to, I can ship across to the mud, but fingers crossed I can just fish short and in the edge and maybe some shallow on maggots if I need to. So yesterday I ended up getting my section, which is really good, £247. Um, obviously I drew light one, as you know from yesterday. That was a real nice day. Today I've drawn Buzzard 13. Um, there was a £300 on 16 yesterday, so there's obviously some fish in this area. So I'm really looking forward to it. My approach is going to be a method feeder across. I'm going to put an hard pellet line in short, but it is quite deep, so I don't know if that will play too much a part. And then I've got a nice edge as well to my left with a bit of room. So fingers crossed, method feeder and edge will have a nice simple day. I'm probably going to need over £300 realistically to win this section, so we should be in for a good day if it happens. So, here we are, day two of the uh, Monkhall two-day festival. Same anglers that have got one point are on this lake. We've got Andy Bennett and Andy Kite on the same lake on Buzzard. So anything can happen. We're all ready for the all-in, just bear with me. Literally 10.59, so it's going to be an exciting day, just like yesterday. Cannot personally wait for this one. And here we go.
So in third place, and picking up 800 quid with a combined two day weight of 529 and two ounce, Andy Kite. Oh, if you stick around after, mate, I'm going to get a, pic get a picture of you after. Okay. So, well done, mate. Second place, combined weight of 546 pound, 10 ounce over the two days. Two points as well, so two section wins. Christian Jones, thousand pounds. Well done, mate. Right, and the first Monk Call Festival. That's yours, Chris. First all uh, Monk Call Festival win it. With a total weight over the two days of 615 pound, 12 ounce, and two section points again, picking up 1,800 quid, Andy Bennett. Well done, mate. I'll get a picture of you in a minute, yeah? And, mate, there you go. Well done, boys. It's been a, uh, thanks for coming along, and uh, hopefully I'll see you all on the next one, yeah? So, cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Right, so Andy, first of the uh, Monk Hall festivals we've had here with On The Flyer TV and Catch More Media. Yeah. Obviously you've won it. What a venue, mate. Tell us about it. I can't believe I've never been. Um, well, we better tell where we are at Monk yeah. Hall, obviously. I, know that I forgot that bit, but... Yeah, Monk Hall, um, down in Bridgenorth. I've seen the results and stuff. Um, never actually been myself, so... Yeah, to come and, <clears throat> excuse me, come and catch a load of fish like I have. Yeah, it's been mega. phenomenal, hasn't it? Brilliant two days. Brilliant two days. You'd think like, oh, it's a fish race. It's nothing like that. It's just real good stamp fish. Just nice, sensible fishing. So yeah, I've really enjoyed it. And luckily I've managed to beat Christian on weight, which <laughs> is even better. Yeah. So tell us about where you were yesterday. So yesterday I drew like one, which Christian drawn today. He's won off that again. So obviously it's a good peg. It's like corner of the lake, bit wider area. You could tell it was going to be a decent area. I had 247 pound there, mainly in my edges, probably had about 80 pound shallow, I'd and F1s. Yep. Um, I was catching well shallow, but the fish are so big in the edge, they're sort of five, six pound average. Big the one, fish, the ones it? I was getting anyway. Um, so it was mainly edge fishing. And then today I've drawn the Buzzard Lake, yep. pegged 13. Um, I've had 368 pound. Lake record has yeah, gone today, record, so you've had a late yeah, record today. Late record as well, which is nice. Um, and I basically started on a method feeder, had two on that. I wouldn't say it was slow, but I could see him in my edge and I was dying to get in the edge because there was like three or four there early doors. So I've probably had 200 pound in the edge before it slowed up. And then it's just been a case then resting that fishing top kit with hard pellets in front of me, keep nets. Um, foul up to Nodden on that. There was some barbel there, I think that was the problem. Like, uh, did you have a few barbel? Yeah, I've had a few barbel on pellets. Right. I feel like if I had a fish casters, I'd probably caught a load of barbel because I was getting loads of indications, which I don't think were carp. Right. Definitely barbel. And then when they stopped, it was just nice, just carp, carp. So yeah, you know, I could have fished shallow for ride. You literally could do what you want, but when you're fishing for them big weights, you need to be catching them carp, really. They're sort of four to six pound average, I'd say. Well, mate, listen, whatever you've done, it's worked. Late yeah. record, first time here, Brilliant. absolutely buzzing. So, obviously, mate, going to be back here again. Oh, 100%, yeah. And it's, it's a bit too far for me to come regular, but any festivals that are here, I'll be back. Oh, well, we've got two next year, obviously. They're already in the, in the diary. So, But, mate, well done. Cheers, guys. First festival winner, yeah. and absolutely made up for you, mate. Thanks for running it. <laughs>